Hey, want some glue? Ooh! Hey guys, I'm Lindsay. I'm Margo. And I'm Thea. And today we're doing edible school supplies. Ooh! That is right. We're going to take some of the classic school supplies and we're going to turn them into edible little snacks that you can eat at school. And after each round, we want you guys at home to vote in the comments and let us know, did we nail it or did we fail it when it comes to making these edible school supplies? Oh yeah. Are you guys ready to get started? Let's I do am. it. Okay, well, I don't know about you guys, but I love to eat my crayons. Edible crayons, that is. So, in order to do this, you need a couple things. First, you have to have colorful candy melts that'll melt in your mouth. Then, you need a microwavable bowl to melt your candy. Next, you need a box of crayons. You need thick boba straws. And a box cutter knife. Woo, be careful. Oh, and last but not least, a plastic baggie. Okay, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start with some pink candy melts and we're just gonna dump them in. And now I'm going to plop these into the microwave to warm them up and make them nice and mushy. Okay, so now that we have melted the chocolate and I've added a few extra colors, we are going to put the chocolate into a plastic bag that has a little point at the end. Here we go. Get it almost to the end, and then you're going to cut the dip. I can honestly, ah. just, I can honestly just eat it like that, yeah, straight out of the bag. <laughs> right, and then you're gonna pour the chocolate into oh, into Ooh. the I boba straw. It. There it goes I down. See it. Guys, we're making crayons. Yeah. Okay, so now that my boba straws are all done freezing with the chocolate, I get to cut them out. Yeah, I'm so Ooh. excited to see this. Yep, so this is gonna be like the uh, chunky part of my crayon. Ooh. Use all this muscle, Ooh. Margo. Use that strength, girl. Oh. <laughs> Woo! It's coming, there your crayons. It went somewhere. <laughs> all right, and ah. maybe I'll just push this one out. So, I'm gonna use this and just push it out. Do it, Margo. Put your With mind to it. I need some <laughs> soap. Okay, so this is gonna be the base of the crayon. Then, the next fun part, because it's blue, Woo. is you take your box cutter and you take your actual crayon, or you ask a parent to do it for you. You're gonna slice the paper nice and straight all the way down so you can cut the paper, and the paper should unfoil. Go. <clears throat> yep, that'll do. And then you're gonna put it around the crayon, and then you're gonna use the box cutter to shape Ooh. the tip of the top of it. Ooh! Ta da! Nice! You got chocolate awesome. crayons! So cute! Are they cute? Aww. I think you totally mm. ate it! Nailed it! For this edible school supply, we are making edible notebooks. So for this one, you'll need edible paper, food coloring markers, a hole puncher, and some red vines or twizzlers or whatever you have. So you're gonna punch holes, about three, into a stack of however many pieces of paper you need. One, two, and three. And then, what I did, I pre-cut the red vines. So I got three little strands here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to tie these through the holes that we made and make pretty little bows to keep our paper together. Yes, <laughs> so then after you've tied your little Twizzlers or red vines around the holes, then you Ooh. can write whatever you want on the paper. Which so in my cute. case is my name. And maybe my crush's name, but. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm gonna write my crush's wow. name. Wow. Oh man. Uh, I want a piece. I want yeah, a piece. Here's a piece. Give oh, me sure. a piece. You want a shot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm Ooh, hungry today. 
I got you guys. Yay. I'm so Ooh, hungry. We can split that number. I'll take it. Let's eat it. I'll take it. No. <gasps> no. It's one cake. Ah! No way. Guys. I mean, what does it taste like? Oh. Not very good. Okay, guys. What do you think about mine? Did I nail it or did I fail it? You nailed it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but there's always that one crazy kid in class who eats the glue at craft time. Eh. But this is how you can have a quick snack by replacing the glue with some yogurt. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So I don't need glue. Right? Exactly. So all you have to do is I'm going to take this glue and I'm going to dump it all out in the trash because you don't want to clog up your sink. Once you have most of the glue out of there, you're gonna put some water in here, swish it around, get the rest of the glue out, and then you can fill it up with yogurt. Ooh, so I'm getting I'm hungry. B.I.B. Bye. Bye. Bye, girl. <laughs> okay, so now that I have my whole glue container cleaned out, all nice and fresh, no glue residue, all you do is unscrew the lid, and I have this awesome squeezable yogurt. So I just put it in there like that, and squeeze. Fills up looking just like glue. It's kind of a great prank too, because you can tell your friends, hey, want some glue? Ooh! Yum! Oh, <laughs> oh it's my so good. If I was if I was a teacher and I saw that, I would like freak out and then <laughs> I'd be like, so exactly, it's a great prank. But yeah. you guys at home, remember to also clean out the lid because otherwise your first shot of yogurt will be glue. Good <laughs> point. Good point, point. Lindsay. <laughs> Who wants them? Who needs a spoon when you can eat yogurt exactly. like that? <laughs> All right, let me know. Did I nail it or did I fail it with this yogurt glue? Totally nailed it yeah. by far. Totally agree. I'd say that she nailed that one. You never know it's yogurt. Yeah. I am going to rule the school with my edible ruler. Are you guys ready to learn how to do it? Yeah. Woo, yeah. Okay, so what you need is a ruler and what they call gum paste food coloring, food coloring markers, <laughs> and just to keep things clean, I got a tray and I put some parchment paper on top of it so that when I dye my ruler, it doesn't get all over the place. Oh, Look at you all prepared. I know, I always got that noggin on. Yeah. Okay, I got the whole gum paste in my hand. She got the whole Ooh. gum paste. In, in my hand. hand, she got the whole world in her hands. So, what you gotta do is sort of like soften it up. And then we're gonna dye it a color. So girls, mm. pick a color, any color. Ooh, make it uh, blue! Make it blue! <laughs> exactly what I didn't want to do. Okay, okay. So, put it in the baggie. Shake, shake, shake. Bigger shake. Take your comics, shake your comics. I'm blue, da ba da da If I was green, I would cry. <laughs> Is that exactly okay? Exactly oh, how Margo. So now, put your blue slab of gum paste. Okay, so. And there you go, and you're Woo! done. And that's it. <laughs> that's your ruler right there. Okay, <laughs> so we got that. So right now it looks like a nice like <laughs> blue kidding. thing. And I'm gonna take the box cutter. Move that piece over a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to cut it out. So the next step is to take the edible marker. I'm going to write on it all the little marks. All the little marks like a like a ruler. So this is a seven inch ruler, eight, an eight inch ruler, but really rulers are 12 inches. We just need a little more space, but. Ooh, nice. Look at how fun is this? Oh yeah, Margo's got a blue ruler. Yeah. Yep. She can eat. Okay girls, did I nail it or fail it? It looks just like a ruler, doesn't it? Ooh. I would say. I you nailed it. I would say you nailed yeah. it. You failed it. I am going to make edible colored pencils. 
So what you need is gum paste, some food coloring right here, and um, food coloring marker. So I'm gonna start out by grabbing some gum paste. Ooh! Ooh. Yeah. I love gum paste. Yeah, Margo loves to eat that for yes, a snack. <laughs> so flatten it out like so. And then... Fia has always got my back. I don't have to worry about nothing. Nope. She's my security One guard. Half. Yeah. That's what I'm known for. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna make it pink. Awesome. I believe in I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look at so that. I took a chunk of the gum paste and I rolled it in between my palms, just like so. Like a snake. Oh, yeah. Because colored pencils are about this thin, so we want to try to make it as thin as this. Okay, so when you are done shaping your colored pencil, you're gonna trim it, and then you're gonna let it set. Okay, so after you've let it set, you can take um, a food coloring marker, just like this one, and color the tip of it so it looks like a real colored pencil. And because it's my own colored pencil, I'm gonna write my name on it too. Ooh, Ooh I see yeah. that colored pencil. Personalize it, you know? So, what do you guys think? Did I nail it or did I fail it? Totally nailed it! I think you nailed it! One yeah. thousand seven. All right, now time for some edible tape, or tape gum, that is. We're gonna use some hubba bubba bubble gum, and we're gonna put it in to a tape dispenser. So all you need is a tape dispenser, hubba bubba, and an empty tape dispenser. Oh, thing of a bobber, whatever it's called. So you're gonna open up your hubba bubba. You have to say it like that. You can't just say hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Hubba bubba. Exactly. And you take your empty little roll, and you're going to roll the gum onto the dispenser thing like so. And you're gonna take your tape dispenser, pop the tape out, take your hubba bubba, hubba bubba. Pop it in like so. No, oh, Margo, would you like a piece of bubble gum? Yeah! Ooh. This is so cool, Lindsay. Yeah. 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 So easy. Can I have one, Sarah? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. This is so, so fun. Good. Thank you so much. Ah. Very clever. Good job, girl. All right, so did I nail it or did I fail it? Total bubble gum. nailed it. 1,000% yes. you did it. You hit the nail yes. on the nail. Yes. All right, so that does it for edible school supplies. Oh yeah, don't forget. Let us know in the comments if we nailed it or if we failed it. Yeah. And press the like button if you're back in school. Woo! Bye! Bye.